Season 1 Thoughts. It's, of course, good to look at the pilot and how different it is from the rest. In general, it's interesting to look back on this first season to see how different the show is at this point than later on. The pilot does a very good job of introducing all three sisters, developing them, their relationship with one another, and introducing this new world of evil that they're now stuck in. They can't get back to their normal lives after the pilot. And this realization fills the viewer with both fear and hope. Obviously without it there'd be no show, but at the same time, and we're excited about finding out more about this world, but at the same time we do worry for the safety of the sisters. This has one of the, the season has one of the best episodes of the entire show in my opinion, anyway. The truth is out there and it hurts, in which there is a spell that makes every question, anyone who asks a question of the three sisters gets an honest answer and, you know, vice versa, they get an honest answer out of the other person also. And this is when Prue tries to find out, one of the times she tries to find out if Andy can handle that she's a witch. And the scene is ultimately, you know, emotional, but at first it's just freaking hilarious. This has the introduction of Barbus, the demon of fear, who we will see more of, and He's a bit of a... he's one of those villains that you love to hate. Billy Drago just does an excellent job every single time he plays a villain, pretty much. The season finale is also quite good, also one of the best. Deja Vu all over again, with three attempts by Rodriguez to wipe out the sisters with some help from one of the Carradines, who is a time-traveling wizard. Carradines always get really awesome, weird roles. It's interesting to note just how early Leo actually does make it into the show. He wasn't a regular at this point, but he shows up from episode 4, and he is in much of the season. I'm not going to give away just how long he lasts, and, you know, for anyone who hasn't excuse me, watched the rest of the show yet. But, yeah, you can tell that he's not going away right away. The basic makeup of the sibling relationship is set up nicely with Phoebe as a bit of a, you know, she's the baby sister. She's a bit irresponsible, but sometimes she really wins the day with her unconventional thinking. Piper as the forever middle sister and quite an erotic basket case, and Prue, the strong older sister, you know, she had to take care of them from a young age, and even in this season that is dealt with somewhat, you know, that she didn't have as much of a chance at a childhood as the other two. It's a little odd how early the duo at Prue's auction house are dispatched, 
when you first see them and you realize that they're demonic, you think that they're going to be, you know, the antagonist for at least the entire season, but then it's just a few more episodes and about halfway through, they're gone. But I guess they wanted to make room for more, you know, week specific ones where it's almost every episode has a new type of evil creature for them to fight.